Hi, I'm Pete, and this is a very special unboxing. Uh, it's also a little bit fake, and I'll explain that in a moment. But first, what is this box of puzzles? Well, this very battered box of puzzles um, is uh, some puzzles I ordered almost five months ago that got stuck in the big uh, mail shutdown that happened in the spring of 2020. And uh, I am very happy to finally have them. And these are some really cool puzzles. So I'm glad to, you know, it's just really exciting to, to finally get them. So um, the, the mail that got stuck when uh, the mail was shut down uh, going out from China, um, later packages um, found other ways to get to Canada and uh, weren't delayed. But unfortunately, there was a whole bunch of mail that uh, just had to be cleared out. And finally, it's gotten here. So what's fake about it then? Well, you may notice that the box has, in addition to the Avery Puzzles yellow tape on it, it also has some clear tape holding it together. <laughs> um, yeah, there's no hiding that. So uh, what happened was I did the unboxing, I cut the box, uh, I really demolished the box uh, as I do, and I was just getting the puzzles out, and then I realized that I had not started the recording. Yeah, that's right. I hadn't started the recording. So you know what? Uh, there's, there's all sorts of ways to deal with that, but uh, in my mind, the most fun thing to do is tape the box back together, uh, admit I made a mistake, Call the first one a mulligan and uh, have a fake unboxing. And that's what we're doing. Okay. Now, you may wonder why all the trouble over a box. Well, I think my viewers like unboxings. Because there's other YouTubers that they, they don't even show you the box. They just dump the puzzle out. Just a naked puzzle. Or if they show you the box, it's like a ninja. They slice it open, dump the stuff out, and toss the box over their shoulder. I like to do the unboxings. You know that. So uh, I want to be able to show them to you. Because uh, I think that you might be here for the unboxing. Okay, let's get going here then. So you see that the box has some uh, damage uh, from its long trip from overseas. It's like been through the crushing machine. Uh, for sure over here, but you know what? Uh, I think it's going to be okay, right? Because the purpose of the box is to take that damage uh, and protect the contents, okay? So um, let's uh, let's slice this open then. So I'm uh, remember this is a fake unboxing, but this is pretty much what I did. Um, because I've, I've unboxed this type of package from uh, Very Puzzle before, I had a pretty good idea of what the best way to get into it was. So, um, and indeed, I, I think I'm, I'm getting pretty, pretty good at opening these types of packages. So, uh, the trick here was to recognize, because I'd ordered two puzzles, that the, it was actually just two, two boxes taped together. So, I made pretty short work of it. All right. Actually, you know what? I think I did a pretty good job of retaping it. By the way, this damage that you see, uh, that wasn't me. It was like that. Like it was broken like this when I when I unboxed it the first time. So uh, so here we go. We got those off. Yeah, these little these lightweight stiffening ribs kind of really really do help a little bit. I think. Yeah. So. Uh, I'm really happy to be able to get these puzzles, you know, because it, it gives me a sort of a sense of of, uh, of closure and, and really a, a sense of more normalcy. I know things aren't entirely normal now, but, but it does give me a, a, a lot of hope anyway that things are, you know, because, you know, the, the um, shipping companies have found new ways to get packages from overseas, um, you know, that... Um, and they even found a way to get these these ones that were stuck uh, to me here in Canada. I, I really appreciate it. So, and of course, this is not very puzzles fault. Oop, there we go. Because I mean, it, everything shut down. It definitely wasn't their fault. 
Okay, so uh, as I expected, this was two boxes because I ordered two puzzles. And in fact, there might even be a bit of a spoiler on that one. Look at that. There's actually a label uh, saying what's inside that box. Uh, there might have been a label on this one, but it didn't. <laughs> it, we don't see it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the boxes and then we'll take the contents out and then continue here. Okay. So this one's pretty easy to see. There's just a... There we go. Okay, and what do we have? Wow. So um, I, it, it's uh, it's in this bag. We see the box is the box is empty, and that one wasn't crushed too much. And as usual, very puzzle has given us a very nice bag to use. Uh, I really like having these bags. I really value these because. I can take my puzzle into work or I can take it, uh, you know, when I'm traveling um, as the, for when I do show and tell. And it's really nice because it fits the puzzle, right? All right. So there is the first uh, of the two puzzles I ordered. There it is. Whoops. Okay. And we got some stickers here. Okay. I'm just going to stick this right here. Haha. <laughs> stick this. I'm just going to put this right here because we've got to open the other one and get the box out of the way. And then we'll, we'll move on with the inspection of the individual puzzles okay so this one looks looks like it definitely looks like it was at the bottom of a big pile of other boxes but i think it's okay all right I, i'm pretty sure it's okay as a matter of fact i'm so sure that it's okay that i'm going to open it on a side that hasn't been opened before okay that's oops okay there we go and this is pretty much what i did on the other side, when I first opened it, I peeked in to see see what I was uh, working with, and then I just demolished the top of the box. That's why I didn't want to open the other side because it's uh, yeah, there's, there's not much left. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now, yeah, this this is a bit of a sharper knife than my other one. All right, this is just so much fun. Um, I hope you agree that it opening the box is, is part of the experience, right? I mean, really, you, just, you don't want someone just to dump the puzzle out on the table. Okay, so we got that. Okay, so here's a, so the, the box, which looks horrible on the outside, looks like it got demolished. But when you look inside, look at all that volume, right? The, the crush, the box took the crush, and it, it didn't actually... Uh, impact the puzzle at all it's in there okay so this is why you know when you see these really damaged boxes I mean damage can happen but uh, if the packing's good it, it's very very um, likely it's not going to happen okay okay that's why I also okay there we go so now this one also tells us what it is on the outside so and that's just some Look at that. That's going to make a nice prize for someone. I give this away for prizes. You can snap it. It's good. Okay. So, uh, so there we go. Our two puzzles. I think I might be able to put the knife away. We'll, we'll see. There we go. All right. Well, what do we got here? Well, this one, um, this, this tells the tale right here. This says ninth Mega Minx ball, so D9, and recyclable, no baby, zero to six, so gotta wait till you're seven. And let's open this up. This is very, very exciting. I just, I really, <laughs> okay. So there is a ninth Mega Minx ball, and we're gonna need a stand for it. So we got our, uh, this is our dollar store. Uh, Mega Mings ball stand. Nice. So what is it? Well, it has the a lot of characteristics of a Mega Minx. We have the uh, regular uh, pentagons right here. Um, it, but it has these little star points. And then it has these uh, hexagons, irregular hexagons as well. And then it has regular, appear to be regular uh, triangles. So there's a lot of, a lot of different pieces. Definitely not a Megaminx. And the feature of this, what 
uh, Viri Puzzle says this is a deeper cut puzzle. And uh, watch this. Look at that. Now, it might be a little hard to see with um, no stickers on it, but see how much of the puzzle is moving all at once. See how many pieces are moving. This is a deep cut puzzle or deeper cut puzzle. And the uh, the difficulty level for a puzzle that's, that's so deeply cut compared to uh, more typical, very puzzle, the shallow cut puzzles they've been producing, this is going to be much more difficult. That's what I would expect anyway. On their website, Very Puzzle says that this compares to a Star Minx. And I'm assuming they're talking about the, the deep cut uh, Star Minx. So I can actually see that. And I think that once uh, I get this stickered, uh, when we do the sticker reveal, uh, definitely I'm going to compare it to a Star Minx because I think it will compare uh, somewhat. So so this is a very special puzzle, I think. And uh, I really I can't wait to uh, to see it in action with its stickers. So let's take a quick peek at the stickers and see what they've uh, they've given for us here. So it says 12 colors. Now that's going to be interesting because I'm pretty sure there's more than 12. Well, it's hard to say. Um, I don't know. I think there's more than 12 faces on here, but we'll see what the stickers look like. Okay. Do I see carbon fiber? Yes, I do. So this is a uh, carbon fiber uh, pattern stickers. Um, now, of course, these are, uh, they're not, they're, they're vinyl, but they have a, an embossed pattern. And the thing about carbon fiber is that it gives pieces, um, distinct orientation and placement, uh, within the, uh, on the face. So even pieces that are the same color, uh, will have a unique, uh, pattern on them. So I, I think it really ups the, uh, the difficulty level, uh, for the solve. Um, and it'll be especially so with such a deep cut puzzle. This is, these stickers are beautiful. I mean, they're so vibrant and such a great range of colors. So even though we might have two greens, um, they are very distinct shades of green. Like they couldn't be more, uh, more distinct. And uh, likewise, the metallic colors we have as silvers. Um, we have a, a very light silver and a very dark, almost a grayish silver so um that is just uh just wonderful i just wow <laughs> uh i'm speechless i'm very happy with this um seems to turn quite well um and uh yeah i can't wait to, to get it uh stickered and i hope that this is the beginning of a of a long series of big big deep cut puzzles i don't know if they'll do the bigger ones uh, because that would be also of interest to me. But of course, they, the number of people that like such puzzles is probably fairly small. Because they're really hard. <laughs> okay, well, um, now that I'm, I'm almost recovered from the, uh, the Mega Manx ball. So let's take a look at the other one I got. Now, this started out as a box filler. But I really think it's a, a, an interesting puzzle in its own right. And I think it's kind of cool and, and kind of cute looking, actually. Um, so this is, oh, here it is right here. So let me just uh, zoom in into the camera. All right, that's your world-class special effect right there. <laughs> okay, so this is the Stingray, when, and that's it. That's really all it says. Stingray and uh, recycled, no baby, zero to six. Wait till that seventh birthday. And uh, very puzzled. And then this, if you want to get some more information on it. So I don't know as much about the Stingray as uh, I, I did the uh, the uh, Deep Cut Megaminx or the, the ninth Megaminx ball, which is, that's the one I was going for way back, almost five months ago. Um, but uh, certainly, uh, I, I think it's a, a really interesting looking puzzle. Uh, okay, so that's the box. Sorry, box. It's done its job. It got it all the way from China to Canada. Okay, it's it's done. All right, and there is the um, very puzzle Stingray. And uh, let's take a look at this. This is a fairly simple design. Um, what uh, very puzzle says is that this is, um, it would be the equivalent of an edge turning cube. 
So um, that's kind of an edge turning cube. Okay, so if this was the top and this is the front face, I see it now. But an edge and corner turning. Oh, it must be an edge and corner turning because we have the corners. But the faces don't turn, but we do have the edges turning. And we have these, these corners turning. Very, very interesting. I don't know what other puzzles look like that, or even like a cubic version of it. So I don't expect this to be super difficult, but the, the thing is that we do need easier puzzles, I think, right? So if if I'm I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna um, you know squeeze my brain <laughs> with a puzzle like this, um, but if I want to bring a puzzle into a classroom and, and show some uh, some kids. Uh, the joys of puzzling. I'm not going to start with that, right? I would start with something maybe like this, maybe something even a little easier, but you, you need to have a whole range of puzzles, uh, I think. I think it's a, a cool thing. So what do we have here? It looks like these are, well, they kind of, they're not rectangles. They've got extra, um, so we've got four. Okay, so these are uh, octagons, very oddly shaped octagons irregular and then we have these which are well they're kind of rectangular no no real and then these obviously three-sided so it's just they're representing a triangle there so it's, it's a nice variety of faces but I think what really sells this puzzle and and when I saw it on the what very puzzle website uh, and I was, you know, I was looking for another puzzle to put in the box. It was an instant buy. Like I didn't even think about it because uh, I, I saw the stickered version. Let me get my special very puzzle puzzle holder here. There we go. And uh, let's take a look at the stickers. Wow. Okay. These are, these are kind of tiny. Um, wow. I, okay. This is. Uh, and there are a lot of them. Oh, whoa. I don't, wow. That, that, that There's a lot of, of stickers. So these are all uh, matte kind of vinyl stickers. And uh, wow, that's, that's kind of neat. Um, I'm a little curious now why we have one carbon fiber sticker. <laughs> that's kind of, I wonder what that is. It's just it's just one in the whole package. Huh. Maybe it's just one color. Okay, well, this doesn't really give you a very good sense of what uh, what these stickers look like. So um, I'm gonna, yeah, I, you know what? I, we can't just leave it here. I, I've got to take this, I'm gonna take the scrap off of this sticker to show you what the stickers on the uh, very puzzle stingray look like okay so through the magic of uh of movie making and in, in our, our special effects department uh i'm gonna just uh well as soon as it cuts you're gonna get to see what this looks like without the scrap all right there you go that's what the uh, stingray sticker looks like and uh, if i move it uh, a little closer you may actually be able to see it's a little tiny stingray. Now, Very Puzzle has a, a long history of making puzzles that have these sticker designs on them. Lovebird, for example. Uh, so this is, I think this is really cute. So basically the entire um, puzzle is covered with these uh, stingray, uh, stingrays. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Um, I think that they go, I think that they go on the, the larger sticker, so I think it's something like that. Yeah, that's right. And so there'll be stingrays all around the the oct octagonal faces. So so that's really cool. I'm I'm really looking forward to uh, getting this thing stickered. Uh, I'm curious about this large sticker. I I really am curious. Uh, so, you know what, again, I'm going to get our special effects department to uh, magically remove all the scrap from this. All right, here we go. Wow, look at that. It worked. 
So we have what it, it turns out that this is a carbon fiber stingray. And uh, it, it seems to be it's a little larger than the other one. So I really don't know uh, where, where this fits into the grand scheme of things. But uh, it is cool. And I'm, I'm looking forward to, to figuring out the uh, mystery of this, uh, this larger uh, sticker. Okay, that's, uh, <laughs> that was really, really cool. Uh, now, I've, uh, looking on the Very Puzzle website, I have noticed that they do have a, a big stingray. And I hadn't, I didn't really look at it too uh, closely, but of course this does make me want to go there and, and take a look at, uh, at that to see if it's the same puzzle or bigger puzzle, different puzzle. Not really sure. Okay, well, that's going to be it for this uh, unboxing. Well, the fake unboxing and then the very real show and tell. I got my ninth Megabanks ball, very deep cut puzzle. Uh, this is going to be awesome and probably quite difficult. And then my very cute uh, Stingray uh, puzzle. And uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing what it looks like with all those uh, Stingray stickers on it. All right, so I'll look for a sticker reveal and maybe a scramble of these puzzles uh, coming up. And uh, as always, I appreciate your comments, your questions, your suggestions. And I really am interested to know what you think about the deep cut uh, very puzzle uh, sphere. Are you interested in seeing more of those or some of their bigger puzzles deep cut? Or would you prefer more of the uh, more shallow cut? Uh, puzzles. Let me know what you think in the comments and of course anything else you want to comment on or questions or suggestions. All right. Well, until next time. Thanks for watching. Camera rolling. Okay, there we go. Now we are most definitely recording this time because yeah. Okay, so audio file is number two. And uh, Ninja is going to be one. All right. Well, we're back. <laughs> we are back to the scene of the crime. Okay. There we go. Okay. It looks like that's about the, the limit of the thing. Okay. Here we go. Three, two, one. Hi, I'm Pete. And this is a very special unboxing. All right, it's also kind of fake. Uh, let's get into it. <laughs> 